Can you see in my pepper jungle? I've got hot peppers. I've got bunches of them. And I've got buds galore. What? This place is crazy. I love it. So I've got these on my potatoes. I'm assuming they're potato bugs. And they're really taking a good chunk out of my potato leaves. And that's what I've been getting so far. I've just been dropping them down in there. Oops, that one got away. Except he didn't, I'll go find him. I saw where he fell, but anyway. So I've just got soapy water and I'm just dropping them in there. And I found a ton. Let's see if we can find that guy that I just dropped. Okay, I'm here with Katie and she wants to pick a carrot. She is dying to pick a carrot. So we're gonna try and find one that's kind of big. I think this one right here. Can I pull it out? This one right here, this big one. Pull that right straight out. This one? Yep. The whole thing. Yep. <gasps> Look at that. Yeah. That's a carrot in there. <laughs> That's pretty cool, huh? Can I eat it? Well, we got to wash it off. We got to give it a good wash first. <laughs> but I wonder, if Bun, I, I wonder if Bun Bun would eat the tops of that. Oh, I wonder. Ooh, look how clean that carrot is. Can you get it off? There you go. It's off. <gasps> Look at that. Can you eat it? Here, let's break that piece off. We'll give it to Bun. <laughs> yum. It's yum. crunchy for sure. Mmm, it's so yum. I can eat it daily. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> little bunny. <laughs> Should I change this? <laughs> give it to Bun. You're not going to eat the rest? You're going to give it to Bun Bun? Bun, do you want to carry it? She might like the top. She might just like the top and not the whole carrot. Just hold it still. Oh yeah, she's gonna like. Yeah, put it down low. There you go. Oh yeah. Is she eating it? Maybe she wants the carrot part. Oh. Bun. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is what Bun does. Slowly and give it to her. Go slow. Here, Bun. Give her the carrot, honey. The carrot, the orange part. See if she'll eat that part. No, she likes it, but she doesn't want it. All right, just leave it there. She'll eat it if she wants it. I want it. <laughs> We're sharing with the bunny. Looks like a nice big carrot in there. Pull that out. Oh, beautiful. That's a beautiful little carrot. Awesome. See if I get any more sticking out. That one's sticking out, but. Oh yeah, that's another good one. Beautiful carrots this year. Last year they were a little crimped and small and squiggly and I don't know, bendy. Like they didn't quite have enough room. But these guys seem like they've got enough room this year. Here's another one sticking out. Oh, there we go. Another beautiful carrot. If Katie was here, she would be on it. She would be crunching these up like nobody's business. 
Look at those, gorgeous. These are onions, and a lot of these are ready to go to be picked. The way you tell, let's see if I can find one that's not ready. Like this one is still really stiff at the neck. See that, it's really stiff, it's not bending over. But this one is not stiff at all, it won't stand up. And that typically means that it's done. That's a pretty good sized onion too. So we'll take that one out. There's I've been taking them out every few days. See this one's the same, just flimsy. That's the only drawback of putting them in these barrels is that when they flop over, if they're in the middle, they're hard to see. So this one's another one. This one's stiff, so it's not ready to come out yet. As you can see, it just stands right up all on its own. This one, oh, and this onion's gonna be huge. This one's flopping over. So that one's flopping over. There, that's a nice sized onion. And it feels nice and hard. Awesome. So I've gotta go back through these and get them out. There's another one here. That's a nice sized one too. I love it. It's doing really, really well. Gonna have a ton of onions. So we've got red and the yellow onions mixed in. So there's one flopped over right here. This one here, so this one's ready. There we go. But then this one is not ready. See, it's standing up. I don't know if you can see through all the stinking weeds. That's just a tiny one. But I just go around and I spoon around the onions, which means you just kind of clean out around them and let the bulb pop. There's another one. This is a nice, good, good one. Not too, too much, but you want it to do it a little bit. You want it to be out a little bit. Oh my word, I didn't realize the weeds were so bad in here. It's crazy. That's a big one. That one's not quite, it's kind of falling over. That's a pretty good sized one. That's a good one. But anyway, I'll have to go through these and pull some more out and that'll make more room for the smaller ones and it'll make room for them to grow a little bit more. And then they'll start flopping over. And that means they'll be ready to harvest. But it's been pretty, pretty dry and pretty hot for several days. And when we get rain, it's not a lot. So it's been a little bit tough. That sun has been hot. But the garden is faring well, it gets watered every evening or every morning if it needs it. Last night I had to do my peppers. I skipped a day because I didn't want to overwater because we did get a little bit of rain the other day and they started to curl up so I had to water them. So I come out every day and I check my garden. I, I watch to see it tells me what's going on. So if it starts to curl up and look dry it probably needs water. So I come out and water. Mm -hmm. 